Good morning and welcome to my airspace. So I'm here in a smudge pot graveyard. This is a grapefruit orchard that I'm going to guess was recently purchased. Um, maybe by new people or whatever. Recently purchased by new people. That's kind of funny. Anyway, um, I've been walking through here for the last three years or so. And it wasn't being taken care of, it wasn't being watered, the plants were all wilted, and now over the last few months, um, it's changed. They're being watered, and there's this area in the back that they seem to be organizing all the stuff that was in the orchard. So I'm thinking that this orchard just hadn't been watered for a long time and it basically was just staying alive by the rain, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I've often wondered why they don't collect the smudge pots out of all the orchards and give them to places where they recycle metal. Anyway, so you can see oil inside there. And... The debris that's in the bottom of these... No, that's maybe not water. Maybe it's water and oil. Yeah, because we just had a rain. Anyway, this is the most smudge pots I've seen in one spot. And these are all the different parts of them. What they do is they light the oil. And the oil gives off warmth, heat as well as, I believe, smoke. And the purpose of a smudge pot is to protect the plants from frost. Speaking of which, the ground is covered with frost. And because it dropped down into the low 30s last night, and there's plenty of moisture in the air, it rained this last week for, oh, about 24 hours. We got snow up there in the mountains. That's Mount San Gorgonio up there. And that's Idlewild up there. So, smudge pots. They were um, replaced by turbines, wind turbines, and also people didn't like them because they caused so much pollution. You can imagine that stuff burning constantly, the oil that was burning in those things. It probably caused a horrendous <laughs> nastiness in the environment in those orchards, coming off of those orchards. Actually, I do remember seeing that sometimes as a child. We would go visit relatives who lived near orchards. And I remember seeing the smoke around Christmas time when we would go visit them for the holidays. Anyway, okay, make it a wonderful day. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for traveling with me. Leaving your comments below. And make it a wonderful day. Happy New Year 2021. And I hope that our government decides to <clears throat> give us some freedom in our country since we've been oppressed for the last year, horribly oppressed here in the United States. And especially in California, our governor, Gavin Newsom, has been really abusive. They've been trying to recall him, and I blame this whole bunch of baloney that's going on in the world on Johns Hopkins University, their Event 21, and their agenda <clears throat> to, quote-unquote, save the world from the next major pandemic. And their numbers are all inflated. They don't make any sense. And the businesses that have had to close down just in California alone, no one's going to school. 
the horrendous long-term effects on people far outweighs the health problem. And it's really, and it's just, you know, it's just a flu. Anyway, okay, make it a wonderful day. Thank you. Go out there and perform a random act of kindness. Tell someone I love you. Give yourself a hug. Tell yourself I love you. And make it a wonderful day. Bye. I love you.